This is Tex from Software Parts, and today's video, I'm going to show you how to change a temperature probe in any Taylor Softec machine. Uh, in today's video, we're going to change the right side barrel probe, but it could easily be any of the three temperature probes in these machines. This picture will show the location of all three, and we'll start out right away with uh, removing the freezer door. It's good to get this that out of the way for this job and then we'll remove the cover that uh, protects the logic boards of this machine and when we get those things out of the way we'll remove the right side logic board since the right side barrel probe is located behind it Our next step is to mark the probe we're about to change so we can see how far it was inside the machine because the probe we're replacing it with needs to go into the same location. When I grab a hold of the metal, the copper probe in the machine, I pull up as I pull out. And uh, sometimes these come out harder than this one does. It's a fairly new machine. If your machine's older, it may be a little stickier, a little trickier to get out. There's really no uh, trick, you just gotta work at it. The new universal probe should go back in the machine much easier. Um, this is a new design that's been out for a year or two. Um, much easier to replace. Here I mark the new probe so I can make sure that it goes into the same location as the old one that I'm replacing. The way I pulled up and out to pull out the old probe, I'm going to go down and back towards the rear of the machine and push it in until I get to my mark. Now I'll trace the wires back from my old probe and I see that one connects to the ground lug inside the machine and the other end of that wire will connect to the logic board. Remember where you pulled this wire from because you're going to replace the new wires in the same places. Color doesn't matter. Um, the new probes have green and white wires, black, white, green, it doesn't matter. They just need to get back to the same locations. Our probe's hooked back up. And now it's time to put the machine back together. I like to coil the wires up nicely, um, as nice as you can. And uh, gently work the logic board back in. We don't want anything to come loose off the back of that logic board now and you're ready to reassemble the machine. There's a link to the universal barrel probe we use in this video at our website, www.softserveparts.com. I'll stick a link in the uh, description for this video, but you can find any parts for these Taylor machines, like the one in this video, at www.softserveparts.com. Over 30 years supplying parts and supplies for Taylor machines. Um, the Universal Pro we use in this video is a really good part to have on hand if you have Taylor 794s, 754s, 791s, all of the Softec controlled machines, 339, 336. Um, it's a really good part to have on hand. Hope you find this video helpful. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos about machines like this, and uh, we appreciate your business. Thank you.